So if you are getting ready to sell your house, there are some super easy things that you could do yourself, some DIY things to help you increase the value of your home, especially right here in North County, San Diego. So we're gonna pop through six different things that you can do. I mean, you could hire somebody out too if you don't want to, but they are easy enough for you to go through, knock them off the list, make a little checklist, go through all these and get this, uh, get your house prepped for the market. So as always, thanks for tuning in. I'm Chris Erickson. Lauren Sanders, let's get to it. And if you guys are thinking about moving, you have questions, you want to know what's going on in the market, anything like that, well, obviously subscribe here, but also hit us up, that number popping up right now, call, text, email, we got your back. We're moving in and around North County, San Diego. So the first Go. thing, a lot of this stuff is great to do to get your home ready for the market. It's relatively cheap, it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, the first one I did to my house actually before, when I moved in, so we'll probably redo it again before we sell, but paint the interior walls. Uh, if you could paint, you could do it. Lauren, have you done it yourself? Yes, I've done it uh, by painting and by hiring professionals. And yeah. um, I recommend hiring professionals, but depends on where you're at. First couple of houses I bought, we, we did our own, you know, painted yeah. them and, and then when reselling, um, got them prepared mostly on our own depends on what your budget is though but paint makes a big difference especially if it's done with the appropriate colors that are um, more neutral and and even i mean if you're doing it yourself you can go into magazines watch the shows on tv see what kind of color schemes are selling i mean the past year or so it's been the gray and light white um, lighter colors yeah definitely the, the color choice is huge you, you kind of want neutral you don't want like my walls back here that kind of dark gray something nice and easy on the eyes very appeal appealing to a lot of buyers not necessarily your taste all this stuff is going to be towards the taste of the most amount of buyers that helps drive up the price or hope get the most amount of offers to help drive up the price the most amount of interest in your house so painting is number one if you need help with uh, picking the colors, but you don't want to paint, or you could also hire a colorist for a few hundred bucks. They come through, kind of see what you're working with and help you choose the right colors for your house. Number two it has to do with curb appeal. It's the first thing people are seeing when they are coming up to your house. And it's just some minor landscaping. Like a lot of the houses that you will see listed, listing photos, they have that nice mulch, that nice new mulch out front. You might want to plant some new plants kind of right before well definitely before the pictures and then you want it to look the same though for when people do show up to your house you don't want it looking crazy different like you had these beautiful flowers for the listing photos but then when they show up they're different dead. i mean different's fine but dead is yeah. not good yeah, yeah. <laughs> no colors good add some add some colors always good i mean in with doing the front and making sure it looks right and we could have hit this with when we talked about paint but mm -hmm. make sure the front door looks clean and and inviting and you know not marks on it or faded or so that might be one of those you go back to the last point and freshen up the paint make it look you know really nice even maintenance stuff like trimming your lawn just maybe even uh you know edging the the grass so it looks nice and tight and clean get rid of any if you have big palm trees out back maybe clean those all up if that's a little bit bigger expense you got to have somebody usually come out and cut those off um just because it is a little bit more dangerous to be climbing up those trees but yep. do all that stuff get rid of all the dead stuff too and make it look as new and as fresh as you can number three is sprucing up kitchens and bathrooms a lot of people agents people who uh do sell a lot of houses they tell you that some of the main things that sell houses are kitchens and bathrooms. And it's kind of true. That's where people's eyes go to bedrooms. Yeah, they're a little bit boring, living rooms, whatever, but kitchens and bathrooms that those are done up and you don't necessarily have to go for that full remodel. Uh, you could do small things like in your kitchen, replace some of the fixtures, replace some of the cabinet hardware, kind of just updating that stuff a little bit and get it looking good for the pictures and for the market. Good ones, uh, updating appliances if you've got the budget to do that. Mm -hmm. That makes a big difference just um, and depending on the price bracket. You know, the interesting thing where we're at houses that were maybe when you bought it 15 years ago was a $700,000 house and now it's 2.2 million there's a different buyer buying that and they kind of expect different things. Anything you can do to make the kitchen uh, pop, cause that is a big spot. People spend yeah. a good portion of their life in the kitchen and family room areas. Number four is sprucing up the window fixtures or the window treatments rather. So 
if you got some of those old, you know, just cheap kind of metal blinds, maybe updating those to some like the nicer wood ones, you go to Home Depot and get them for relatively cheap, measure your window out, cruise on down there, they'll cut it for you. You could just go home and hang it yourself. My situation, we have big blackout drapes for when the kids were small so they could sleep well. Maybe taking those down, get something a little lighter, a little more inviting cruising through there. So that's just a big thing. Somewhat, uh, if you're doing like full on window treatments, a little bit more uh, cost, a little bit more money. But some of those minor things like blinds and stuff are relatively inexpensive and pretty easy to do. And here's the super easy one to do. If you don't have the budget to adjust or trade them out and they're old and look bad, just remove them. And when you yeah. paint, paint it clean. And so then somebody can uh, come in and have empty windows and do what they want. So I, that's, that's the easiest thing on this whole list of stuff to do. Just remove those. And if you're not yeah. gonna replace them, remove them. A yeah. lot of stuff kind of as you are getting your house ready, sometimes less is more. A lot of times just not even having there, like Lauren said, is is gonna improve the value of your home as opposed to something that's older and just and not needs to be replaced anyway. So get it out of there. Number five is gonna be replace flooring. Now you, a lot of people these days, they don't like carpet. That's kind of the new trend if you have carpet you can get rid of it it's a little bit cheaper than the you know the hardwood floors or the vinyl luxury plank luxury vinyl plank that we see a lot of times but once again pick something neutral pick something that is simple but not only like if you have old carpet it might look bad it might look worn it might have uh, it catches a lot of the smells a lot of the dust a lot of everything in your house so getting that out of there will not only improve the look but also kind of the odors of your house if you did have pets if you have kids, if you have dust in your house, who doesn't have that? So uh, it yep. is a little bit bigger of a project, but definitely people are going through those listing photos. We notice it every single day. We've got some new floors in there. Even if the kitchen is, you just did those fixtures and you have maybe those older countertops, new flooring uh, just brings that up to the next level. People see it and they're like, ooh, looks like they did some work here. So that's a, yep. a kind of a middle cost kind of thing, but you can do it to improve the value of your home. Yeah, and I would say the trade-off if you don't want to put hard floors in for carpet, if you have some carpet areas, new carpet too is better. Mm -hmm. New neutral carpet's better than old dark carpet or worn carpet or yeah. like Chris said, smelly carpet. And yeah. it gives your house kind of with fresh paint, newer carpet, newer flooring. You got that kind of new car smell. And number six is updating fixtures. So as you're going through that kitchen, you might've already done that step, update some fixtures, but also go through any old outlets. So if you have those old school outlets that just, maybe they're cracked, maybe they just don't match. Maybe you had them to your taste. Maybe you have like some very de decorative, you know, ornamental stuff cruising around. Uh, definitely update those and, you know, get a simple standard one. Once again, Home Depot unscrew them, it's just a few screws to to get those updated. Maybe some uh, sink faucets, like some super simple stuff. Especially the ones that look worn or they're leaking or um, for the faucets and the handles. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things you walk through houses and you see if there's kind of corrosion and all that stuff. You know, you yeah. know there's that's gonna need to be replaced. All these yeah. things, you'll put the money in, but it's more of an investment. You're gonna get usually get more on the back end when you do sell your home than you put in at the beginning. And so make yourself some more money. If you guys have questions on what you should do, you need a third opinion, you kind of want to get that process going. You just even want to start that conversation. We are real estate agents right here at North County, San Diego. So hit us up, call, text, or email. We got your back and we can answer those questions for you. Go through your house. You could hire us three, six, nine, 12 months early. So you could start all these processes and not be on a time crunch. It's never too early to reach out. We're happy to show up and uh, give you some some opinions on what's selling houses right now. What what improvements? Because some of them we might just say, nah, don't don't do that. Um, yeah. You know, save save the money there, put it here. Also, uh, we've got a concierge service where we can front load. Uh, you know, get you some money that you can use for basically free if you've got equity in your house to do some of these upgrades 10 20 30 40,000 bucks to update some stuff um, as part of our concierge program and uh, make it easier for you too to get it all done and then pay for that part when you close the house.